Ooh, it's been a minute since I've dropped something on the channel. And yes, you got the title right. I am going to be upgrading to the Lumix S5 2X pretty soon. Let's dive right into this video, Siobhan Beckford style. I've had my eyes on the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X since the rumors were out. I mean, I've been making videos about what to expect in the Panasonic Lumix S5 II and the 2X from way back as 2022 when the rumors started surfacing on the internet even before its announcement. So this is no surprise that I will be upgrading to the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X in 2024 here and you know maybe use it to replace my Panasonic Lumix S5 first gen as my main driver for videos of course but I'm going to be discussing some nitty-gritty into more details as to why I would use the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X over my current Panasonic Lumix S5 which is recording this video as my main camera for videos especially like these talking headshots videos for my clients and casual video works professional alike all video works so first up elephant in the room the autofocus of course like who would give up having some good phase detect autofocus on their day-to-day -day video camera? No one. Because the Panasonic Lumix S5 uses contrast detect autofocus like most Panasonic cameras pre-2023. So it's not the most reliable autofocus system within a camera. It works because currently I'm using the contrast detect autofocus on my Lumix S5 and let me check the LCD display it seems to be tracking me pretty well you can be the judge when watching back this video and I'm not even using a Lumix lens I'm using a Sigma DNDG 24 mm f2 lens which I use for most of my talking headshots like these and most run and gun videos overall and the autofocus holds up pretty well the Lumix S5 II and 2X both have phase detect autofocus, which is great at grabbing and locking onto those subjects. And it's even comparable to the industry standards we have nowadays that Sony and Canon are offering on their cameras. So it's Lumix first try at phase detect autofocus back with the Lumix S5 II and 2X and they did a pretty darn good job. So that's one of the reasons I will be upgrading. The second reason why I will be upgrading to the Panasonic Lumix S5X is the ability to record Apple ProRes RAW straight from the camera without using an external recorder. This is such a sweet deal. This is a game changer because editing ProRes is quite easy on your machine. We all know how difficult it is to edit compressed video codecs on your camera, especially codecs such as H.264. It's a bit heavy on the machine and requires a lot of processing power even though those kind of codecs try to give you the smallest file size as possible but that comes at the compromise of processing so ProRes is lighter to edit and it's also amazing to color grade I'm spoiled with ProRes raw footage especially what comes from the iPhone 15 Pro Max so I need to get the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X so I can start adding more ProRes RAW video footages to my workflow to make editing more fun. But that will also come at the sacrifice of me having to get more storage devices. <laughs> A next key point to note why it's good to upgrade to the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X is the fact that it shoots up to 6K internally. The Panasonic Lumix S5 first generation is capable of shooting 6K, but you would have to be using the Atomos Ninja 5 or some other external recorder in order to unlock this feature. So coming straight from the camera, the highest you can go is 4K 60 frames per second. But if you use an external recorder on the original Lumix S5, you'll be able to record up to 6K 
in the Lumix S5 2X, you can record up to 6K directly from the camera without an external recorder. And you know, 6K, 4K currently is like the standard, but with 6K, you have room if you want to crop and you know match footages let's say my dji ear 2s records up to 5.4k and i normally record in that resolution so i can crop into scenes especially for vertical content so the 6k on the lumix s5 2x will blend well with the footages coming from my ear 2s in 5.4k and you know 6k is easier to crop the vertical opposed to 4K. It's more resolution when you're cropping to fit that horizontal aspect ratio. A good feature about the Lumix S5 2X as well, why I will be upgrading, is the fact that you can record directly from the camera onto an external SSD. This also gives you the ability to record videos with a bitrate of up to 800 megabits per second. You know, SD cards are limited with the amount of bitrate you can have in a regular, even UHS-2 SD card. I think they are capped at about 300-400 megabits per second, but with an external SSD, such as the Samsung T5, T7, T9, you can record bit rates of up to 800 megabits per second. The more bit rates in your video, it's the more data your videos are retaining. So your videos will look cleaner, nicer when you present them to your client or when you showcase them on social media. This recording to external SSD feature will also save you a lot on the cost you would pay for UHS-2 SD cards because they're quite expensive. A 128GB UHS-2 SD card is like $100 to $200 depending on the brand and the megabits per second the card is spitting out. But you can use that $100 to $200 to get like a 1TB Samsung T5. So you would be saving more in getting an SSD in which you would get larger storage instead of buying a bunch of SD cards lying around which can easily break or you lose. Another point to note is that the Lumix S5 2X will have unlimited recording in 4K 60 frames per second. Gone are the days when you only have 30 minutes to record 4K videos like what we have on the Panasonic Lumix S5 first generation. Right now my camera will time out and stop recording after 30 minutes. With the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X, it is unlimited for all 4K video options. You will only have a limit when you go up to 6K in which it will cap it to 30 minutes for each time you're recording like what we have on the S5 now with 4K videos. And the last reason I will be upgrading to the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X is the fact that this camera costs less than $2,000 currently. Right now you can go and pick up the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X brand new for less than $2,000. And I mean for a camera with the features I just mentioned, plus it has a lot of other features, there is no other camera out there to beat the Panasonic Lumix S5 2X. It's literally being sold for way cheaper than what it's worth. Panasonic is giving away an awesome camera if you ask me. $2,000 for a camera that records 6K. And also Apple ProRes RAW. $2,000. It's a steal for me. So not to worry guys, I definitely won't be retiring my Panasonic Lumix S5 even after I upgrade to the Lumix S5 2X because the S5 will remain my main photography camera. The S5 2X will be my main video camera, so my Lumix S5 will still play an essential role in my photography and videography arsenal. And I can use most of my Lumix S5 accessories on the Lumix S5 2X, so that's a win-win for me. Same lenses, same batteries, you name it. If you found this video interesting, you can feel free to hit the like button so the algorithm can like me some more. And if you want to see more videos like these, especially talking about Panasonic Lumix accessories, cameras, lenses, details, you can hit the subscribe button. I'm Siobhan Beckford, stay tuned for more videos talking about photography 
and videography. Signing out.